Is that not what you're wondering? What you talking about, whoa, did he? I'm going to explain how a C-list actor, Kevin Samuels, had an A-list reality show. Before you can have a hit TV show, reality show, YouTube, whatever, this is how Hollywood works. There's an unknown producer. He helps you develop your strip. He's up or she is part of everything, the finance, and because that's how they make money. That's a homework assignment. Google a producer like Jerry Bruckheimer. Richer than your favorite actors, why he's behind some of your favorite movies. Steven Spielberg is a great producer. Behind some of your greatest movies. Behind every great show, whether it's Mr. Beast, what he's doing, Martin, Martin, Deaf Comedy Jam, The Avengers, there's always a great producer. A lot of people are believing that hard work, hard work will not get you there alone. It's just a small fraction. Time, place, luck, got a lot to do with things. And if you have a circle of influence, now I'm finna help you youngsters, right? The Godfather you think is gone, Fredo at best. The Godfather still exists. You just don't have your history. The Godfather has not gone anywhere. Take a listen at this. And at this point in time, that is Kevin. He is trying to establish himself as the style guy, the fragrance guy in a masculine space. Call it what you want. Who you're about to hear from is a BGS Ibmore, a very, very intellectual, and who I am telling you is the master producer of said reality show. To all of you youngsters that know your history, listen what he tells you and challenge him if it's wrong, because I know he's absolutely correct about what he says. This is not even a diss track at BGS. I'm gonna explain all this, but this is Let A Pimp Be. Right, this saved Kevin, had this video not come out, you would never have heard of him. Bruh. Hey, my more brothers, back again. Um, it's something that I didn't think I would have to do again, because uh, I did it earlier when um, I introduced Kevin Samuels. Didn't think I'd have to make another video like this, because I thought over time that Kevin would prove himself, which he has. And even back then, a lot of guys didn't take to Kevin, because he wasn't like... Grinch says in their flavor. So recently, I don't know where this has come from. I think it's started to come from the women's side is that Kevin has been called gay. Now there's been no proof of it. Number one, number two, a lot of guys think that it is because Kevin is neat. Now, as you have just learned young ones, BGS it introduced this man into the space, into YouTube. Pretty much the producer, not knocking the hustle. Here is a struggling actor. Think about it like that. Cause this is the way it works in Hollywood. You've heard all these stories. I'm a struggling filmmaker. That's the way it happens. You go through the struggle. Here's a struggling actor, right? And let's call this space, the black manosphere. There's guys like O'Shea, angry man, obsidian. That was above. If you do not know your history, angry man introduced us to BGS. But BGS, this is his star pupil. Right, this is the guy. No, not gonna that. He sees a talent and things inside of this man and how, remember, a producer gets the best out of a writer. He works with the director to get the best out of the actors. So whatever's on paper comes and gets you on string. These are facts. I'm LA Film School Train. This is it right here. So we just found out that BJS Moore introduced us all. <laughs> he introduced him to the space. How do I know? Well, hell, I'll just play it again. Back again. Um, it's something that I didn't think I would have to do again because uh, I did it earlier when um, I introduced Kevin Samuels. Didn't think I'd have to make another video like this because I thought over time that Kevin would prove himself, which he has. And even back then, a lot of guys didn't take to Kevin because he wasn't like Grinch says in their flavor. So recently, I don't know where this has come from. I think it's started to come from the women's side is that Kevin has been called gay. Now there's been no proof of it. Number one, number two, a lot of guys think that it is because Kevin is neat. He actually has style and it's something that has been missing amongst black men for, I say for the last 35 years, because guys like Kevin used to be really, really typical back when I was a young man. You dressed neat, you wore shoes, you wore suits. There's something else you need to know about a producer. 
sometimes the producer has the movie, the script in his head, and he goes, finds his writer, and he finds his actor. That's what this producer did. You very guys that cheer for KS, you don't dress like that. You just love the, you know, the product that was given to you. Can you honestly say, all you Negroes that chap and cheer from your little cuts and sound bites, do you dress like that? Do you even wear cologne? You probably don't. Your cologne smell like weed, man. This is genius. I'm sitting here and telling you the producer is the genius behind all this. Pay attention. And that's what you would aspire to. Those guys drove the nice cars. Those guys had all the women. Those guys got all the attention. Back in the day, a lot of the women called them suave guys. The higher class women called them suave guys. And us lower class dudes, we could only aspire because to be like Kevin was very expensive. It still kind of is, but those kind of guys were set apart. But now we have descended so far to that being grimy looking or being rough looking or being thug looking is what we call manly to the point where somebody that is neat, that is clean, that is stylish, is called gay. And I guess it's because there it is. That was the vision. The producer wants a lot of movies that you see are to leave an impression on you. Did glory not leave an impression on you? You Negroes that watch 12 Years a Slave, doesn't it do something to you? You supposed to leave with a feeling. Even the Avengers seeing Tony go out, didn't that do something to you? You've been with him all those years. Meanwhile. So here's a few points. Question again, does the majority of men, the overwhelming majority, dress like that, use cologne, wear those? No, you don't. You got on chains and it's Pearl, just Pearly. Is she one of the women that would chase? No, she like ratchet niggas. Is mayonnaise an instrument? But that is great producing. Also, it's an insinuation that the group of guys that was right there, I was one of them in this sector, we wasn't shit. But that's the power of images. Steve Jobs said the storyteller tells the future, writes the future, sets the trends. So I ask you again before we finish this and go deeper into this dive, how many men that you see in videos Responding to what he's done, dress like him, smell like him. Absolutely fucking not. So it was an underlining problem that you guys had that the producer knew about, and he gave you what he gave you. Let's finish this, and we're going to do a deeper dive. All of our women are no longer feminine. So since our women may or may not be feminine anymore or need anymore, and they've gone down to the point where women are, as Grinch puts it, drags, that anybody on the other side has to be feminine which is something I don't understand. And I don't blame Kevin if Kevin left because you black dudes are hard headed. The reason I brought, I, I introduced Kevin. I can't say I brought him over here because he's a grown ass man. And you can't bring a grown ass man someplace a grown ass man doesn't want to go. But I introduced him into my audience is because I had a lot of you guys that were stuck. You were smart. You probably made a lot of money, but you were stuck. You were stuck wearing little boy clothes that you weren't neat, you weren't clean, you weren't polished. And Kevin is the exact person that you need to polish your image because that's all that was wrong with you. But I still see a lot of you guys who are refusing to go over. You like being stuck. You like being grimy. You like the rough look. And then complain that you can't get any women when the exact Thing that you do need is to follow Kevin's advice. I, I don't know how many. How many of you young guys know this existed? Mm. Mm -mm. Hard work means nothing. You can outwork me all you want, but if I got someone to put me in position to be the man in the snacks and the man, the snacks and the man, the snacks and the man, they got a circle of influence. And guess what else this man's circle got? The dudes that hang around this channel do make 60, 80, 100, six figures. How you think he got finance to get where he needed to get to? A producer sees something going on that's in the world, a current event, and they write, or either a writer producer does, or he sees this movie in his head, he goes, finds the writer, and he finds his muse, his starring actor. Tom Cruise is made to be Tom Cruise because he worked with such great producers like Jay Bruckheimer. What are we seeing here? This is after average at best. Shortly after. After average at best, Kevin is asking you what's next. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, buddy. I like this. Getting ready for...
Now that is the first beginning of success. Kevin still looks like a 40 something year old man in his fifties. Everything was good. Everything was good. Before we look at the moment, the average of best moment, which was a nothing burger, an absolute nothing burger. What propelled him? A great producer uses their circle of influences. Producers don't go in their pockets for 50, 500 million. They go to investors, whether it's Disney, blah, 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 blah. The producer, BGS, went to the circle of influence. He pushed you 50, 60, 70, 100,000, 200,000, how much money you make, guys, to Kevin. Actually shamed you for not going over to fucking fuck with Kevin. It is what it is. I didn't say this. Go rewind it because we got to keep going. Great producer. He knew the need. He's true. I've heard you and read you guys, and I know some of you guys. You always brag about the money you make, but unfortunately, you don't have the body composition, the cool, blah, 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 to get the thought nisha that you want. Drop it! Money only reels them in. Casino is a perfect example. Watch the movie Casino. Sam Rothstein had all the money. He just wasn't. He didn't have it. Huh? That y'all don't want to admit happens and is. But this is shortly after the average of best. As you can see, man, Kevin looking dapper. Way proportionate. Hey, yo, mid 40s, mid 40s. Remember that picture. Remember that video. Let's continue. This is the moment allegedly that propelled him. But I'm here to tell you that it had nothing to do with nothing. It was just timing and wham. And a good producer utilizing t resources, the talent on screen, right, that we got, and the power of SEO optimization and algorithm. Let's listen. Married children, what? Yes, I want to be married. Do you want any children? Yes. How many? Um, I have a son now, so. Okay. How old is your son? He's thirteen. Where's the father? He's not enough in his life. I didn't well, ask he, that. I said, "Where's the father?" Well, he's not like in it like I would like him to be. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and take this down, ma'am. Men who make the kind of money you're talking about have options. And typically I don't want to deal with women who are have 13 year old sons who are used to dating men. Who, this doesn't sound appealing to the kind of man you're talking about. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, I was thinking once I start booking a session with you that- um, I can't change men. I know, but I can approve myself and I feel like I have a lot. That we know now he's not a matchmaker. That's cool. That's cool. Let's continue. To offer to those type of meetings. Oh, okay. But see, you should have stopped right there. I just told you I cannot change men. And you said, right. once I book a session with you, I'm not a miracle worker. I'm telling right. you what they want. And you're still right. saying, yeah, but I want them. They don't want you. But I have been working on myself this year and um, looking your Okay, ma'am. But okay. 35, 13 year old son with a sketchy father. Why would a man who's in the top 10% of earners who women across the country want, want that? Answer. If that motherfucker 47 like me and up, so you guys were led to believe because it's a reality show now. This is a script. This is a script. We've read your comments. You gave us your emotions. You got now the figure that talk to women like you really want to. Huh? Just writing a script. Look at Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. They get viewer feedback. You bring in people, right? And every talk show, whether it was Johnny Carson, Arsenio Hall, Jay Leno, name one, Stephen Cooper, there is a producer in your ear. This is BGS for women. The show that no longer exists, but if you've been around, you know. That's it. That's it. That's it. This is what you wanted. These guys got a lot of practice by bringing up young women and, oh, God, I wish you could hear how they berated them and whew, they loved every minute of it. Everyone was avatars, too. To his point, the men that he's referring to are the men that's in his circle. They make 80000 up, but they probably 47 and up like me. Ain't got the body. We know it's looks, money, and status. You need two or three. Got the money, but they ain't got no status or looks. 
I don't care if she Kim Sung Lyle. She'll take your money, but she's going to sneak off and somebody like me to just eh, do it for her, naturally. Here is question? the moment. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Why is that so? Okay, go ahead. Why is it so what? Go ahead. Um, my from my point of view, I feel like I, I get what you're saying. They, they they do have better options, but also those better options are younger girls. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Bullshit. I'm, Bullshit. I'm 51 and I, and I can't beat him off with a stick. That's another one. That is a lie. You take your average 47, I don't care how much money, you get out with the S class, you're looking at that. She ain't looking at you. At this point in time, never before, average at best, right? Before he's starting to make it now. The producer had pushed a lot of money his way, little seminars and just a bunch of stupid shit, but he made money. Big game. Ask yourself, how many 20 year olds have checked for you off the strength of you, 45 year old man? 50-year-old man, 60-year-old man. There's an exception to the rule, but the rule makes an exception. He made himself an exception through LMS. At this time, he got he got the looks money. Status, he got two or three. You do you, sir. But that's what's wonderful. A good producer knows that. I got a weight loss show. I can't show you how to get to the finish line in the first episode. On you lies. No, younger women are always, younger women are attracted to older men. What are you talking about? So can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay. So do you feel like a woman like me? Uh-huh. What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to 10? You cannot use seven. Would I rate myself? Mm -hmm, just your face. Uh, my face when I wake up, five, but when I put myself together, six. Okay. And how tall are you? Five, five. Dress size. I'm sorry? Your dress size. A three. Okay. So that makes you... If you give yourself a five, that's average. Yes. So average looking women tend not to get high earning men. They tend to get average men. So, um, did you, did you, I mean, stop right there. Stop right there. That's really real. That is the biggest bullshit I ever heard. Five in the face, but you got nice tibble bitties and a um, fat ass. Working. Margot Robbie, Robbie, star Barbie, average looking. What are you talking about? At five is average and she go up to a six. Question is, what do you look like, sir? Sir, sir. Did you watch the interview that she did with the, the tip boob? Man, the frame is bad. Ain't she in North Carolina? Hope she sees this. Let's holla, baby. Stop right there. Breathe and digest. You're 35 years old. And you can look around and see the world. You don't tend to see higher earning men with average looking women off rip. If you do see them, they got them. They got their average looking woman when they were both really young and he built his way up. But a man earning the kind of money you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman. Hence why he ends up broke. <laughs> Hence why he ends up broke and the manosphere and done lost his mind. I believe I can fly. Are you crazy? So you telling me every dude is like he talking about got an eight and up? Seven is only two ticks above at five is average. She go up to six. Somebody beat her face the right way and that body mean eight. What black man don't like big old tits in the right age? Make it a style, you're not beautiful. Says red, that beautiful. I'm going on, and on. I promise you, I grew up with Beyonce, and I seen them without makeup. Average, maybe not B, but the rest of the girls are average. Neil Long, bad body back in the day. She was no damn beauty queen. Shots fired! Shots fired! Angela Bassett, Virginia King. You telling me Jason Moma, who had Lisa Bonet, had turned? Shall I could keep going on? How many very, very beautiful women you think in this world, fool? Like, out of ten women, how, how, which one of them natural eights, nines, and tens? What's the percentage of that? Ah, what a great producer. He knows these things too. Everybody averaging something. Average height, average build, average. You're going to be average at something, homeboy. She five in the face and eight in the waist. Nine in the tip of bitties. What you got? Seven and a half, homeboy. Trying to help you. That's why you ain't got no girl. I mean, my body is not average, so. But you're, ma'am, you please don't make me say it. That's a BGS Ibmore special right there. 
she told you, but my body ain't average. That goes into the equation, sir. Don't make me keep naming these average looking women. Hillary Duff. Is Taylor Swift really a knock? She's a, she's a knockout. Mm. Where, where, where are these women at? I really just wanted some advice. I love your you know, I'm giving you. I'm giving you advice, but you're not taking it. The I'm, advice is, ma'am, ma'am, you're average looking at best. I'm taking it in, but... Okay, but you're not accepting the fact that... Okay. Average looking women. Average looking woman who's older. Average looking older woman with a 13 year old son. Average looking woman with a 13 year old son with a sketchy baby daddy. Getting bad dudes every day. Rich niggas every day. Them dude boys or lawyers or whatever. The milkshake bro shit of y'all. Man, she is. How bad is the deal? I'm 47. You 55. She checked for you. I can do math. 13, that motherfucker driving off somewhere we go. I'm just a friend. No one, look at her. She's not even paying no attention. But that's your average at best. There was no punchline. She had already set it up. Yeah, I think I'm pretty average in the face, but my body ain't. She knows because we all looking. But that was a great moment. How did it propel to the reality show that you guys remember and love? Shares and likes. Somebody took a clip of that. And there's another exchange, but that shows you it was nothing bizarre. She 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 rated herself. She probably could be a six, depending on whose eyes it is. But beat this game. That clip went to World Star Hip Hop. You had to pay for that to get the World Star Hip Hop. Great job. You take his nest of followers that loved and have fallen in, fallen in love with living through him vicariously, saying to women what they wish they could, even though he's not taking care of himself, he's unhealthy shit stains in his drawers and the power of people like myself responding to it in the sphere and the circle of influence that the producer had, which is absolute genius. BGS, I know, you know, you like the first one you sit back in the cut, but you help plant that seed for your Elwood Anderson's and everybody to respond to it. And it worked seamlessly. <laughs> seamlessly. Hard work. They didn't do that. Hard work. They didn't do that. At that time he got a show and it's growing, but it's no bigger than no, I mean, there's a lot of other people in the sphere that was still eating just as good. This is the moment. This is what propelled him. But what happens? It is hard, ladies and gentlemen, for a show, a reality show, TV show, to get the syndication. What do you need? You need five seasons. He didn't get that. In two seasons, look what this man has become. You can see it in the well, face right now. Just look, look. Well, it, that part's complicated because they said he had- There's no complicated, ma'am. If he was a danger to the children, he'd have to have supervised visitation. You're full of shit. Get off my fucking phone. As you can see right there, there's no love in it anymore. That's normally not Kevin's etiquette. That's probably looking at the pupils that dilating high and he wish he could hit a few lines and the Red Bull. Y'all think it's Red Bull that got no, no, no. When the MCs came to live out the name and to perform, some had to snort cocaine. How do I know? I ain't always been this walk, did he? Peep game. And in Hollywood, you do what Hollywood do. Look how old this motherfucker look in two years. A few inches later. In two years, all you faithful followers, look what arguing with women did to him. 2019, 2020-ish. Been gone over a year. Look at, look at homeboy. Look at homeboy closely. L look at homeboy. That's after. That's doing average at best. He kept it dark, so it's hard. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, he hiding back there. By then, you know, he graying out in the cane. See the red bull. But this is what you need to see. This is the end of the era right here. This is the end of the era. I mean, violently arguing with women. Look how old this motherfucker looked. Did nobody see that? A U.S. president. Obama came in, went in, her was black by the time, you know, all the stress. Good God Almighty. That is stress. They live vicariously through him. And I'm not telling you what he said. Listen, you can challenge me on what he said. I don't care what he said. I'm telling you how the reality show came to be. How did it come to be? A producer, because you was in the comment section, the Patreon, because I was there. Guys, I heard your cries. They saw a need for a product, created the product, and that's the product. But look at the toll that it took on the star actor, who was a C-list actor. Here's a disclaimer. Be a C-list actor and get on in Hollywood. You'll act for life. Like my man Trejo, oh, uh, um, the Mexican that played the bad guy. If you're from the 80s like me, we've seen the same actors on Love Boot, the Dynasty, the... C-list will get you a career work. But look at that. That's what the ending 
an old, old man before it's time. Say what you want about KS. I got cologne in there. They recommend it. And shit good, too. But, baby gang, just two years earlier, can't see him there. That is about, that's two years before what you seen the end. He ain't get but a two-year run of that. Two-year run. From that, doing what he love to do. Style, chilling, play with the suit. And in less than two years, ladies and gentlemen, he ages to that. A old bitter man that hate his damn. He cannot stop touching face glass. He so just look. Oh, there that nose. There it is. Oh yes, uh, the producer don't know. Oh, I got eyes that can see. <laughs> when the MCs came to live out the name and to perform, some had to snort cocaine to act insane. Need a bump. He got agitated with this bitch. But anyway, look how ages the man. Two years. No white. The rest of the black was gone. He ain't even style. He's supposed to be blacking that out. Look at Steve Harvey and them old cats. He don't do that. You see Ron Osley look no. Look old. Look how fat his face done got. Give me the game. Broke it down. On how? You wondering? What you talking about, Walt Diddy? I just showed you how a say less actor Kevin Samuels had an A list reality show. Any great show, TV, YouTube, whatever, you need a great producer. Joe Button is at the level he got not by himself, also by great producers, editors, and a team. The so-called master teacher of the ghosts is the producer. You guys that's in his camp die hard, that moved over to his camp not die hard, and the die hards he pulled in became the team. With your likes, your shares, your thrives. Yeah. This is game. You guys that make these videos, you don't dress like that. You don't wear cologne. Your cologne is weed. Liquor, Hennessy. You're like a motherfucking blunt and liquor. You're comfortable, more comfortable than your J's and your sweatshirts. You're not dressing like that. Some of the older guys, but no, you're not. You have nothing in common with this man. This one product that you wanted, you wanted to see a dude sit back and just humiliate women because you feel humiliated from your heartache, your heartbreak. Whatever happened that you didn't get what you want? A lot of us been there. Gotta shake it off, as Taylor Swift said, who was an average looking woman. No ass, no two mobilities, nothing. That's how it happened. A great producer who's seen something that we all didn't see and end up being correct in his star actor. See list. That's all you need. Great story. Great producer. A team that's willing and able to go to extra mile and work long nights as you did from the Kevin Samuel Defense Force. You know, all you guys on the panels. I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. There you go. We all, and I'm one of them that reacted to him and that average at best clip. She's more than average to a lot of you guys. You don't, you, how many of you guys actually got a girl that looked like her or even a, would approach one? You would. You've been trained not to. So that's how it happened. That's how, ladies and gentlemen, a C list actor, Kevin Samuels, had an A list reality show. You guys and we all helped. And that's what it takes. L there would not be a love in hip hop without likes, shares, and feedback. You guys wanted a product. You were given the product. What's the repercussions now? The product is worthless. The circumstances hadn't changed. The economy is worse. Women not giving up any of their damn power or status, anything to appease you, motherfuckers. Just giving you the game. If you can't admit that, something is wrong with you. K made a slip, and I guess the producer wasn't watching. They should have deleted it, but he told you gynocentrism is not the problem. White supremacy is not the problem. Issue when he sent man John the guys is whining and complaining. Hiding behind that with toss. Ashamed of yourself. Instead of go work on yourself. That's what he tells you. You guys want the product. You wanted the show. You were on the reality show. You were even a part of it in the chat, your shares, your responses, and all these things. You were a part of it, a reality show. Now that he's gone, there's that void, and it cannot be filled. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And remember these two things before we move on. Number one, I just explained to you how Kevin Samuels, that's right, the one and only Mr. Average at Best, was a C-list actor, but had an A-list reality show, and we all have a hand in making that happen. Hope you enjoyed this. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Whoa, did it.